Hello everyone, I'm Don the Crown, and today let's talk about keeping track of all of the things to do in Lost Ark. Now, if you're like me and you've already created a ton of vaults, you probably realize that, wow, there's a lot to do every single day and every single week, and it's kind of difficult to keep track of what's going on. And so I'm going to show you guys how to use a quick tool or how to use a tool that's pretty quick to set up, and you'll be able to keep better track of all your dailies and stuff. And this tool is really, really simple to use once you have it set up. It's just the setting up part that's a little bit hard. So I'm gonna give you a, basically a slate that you can just put in your character names and go with it. You don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, this is basically how I have it here set up. The, all you have to do is check off the tasks that you do every single day or every week. And then at the end of the day or end of the week, these check boxes will all disappear for the daily ones that will disappear, all the weekly ones will disappear, and there's just a lot of stuff to do. Uh, as you can see here, I have the three daily tasks. I have weekly quests. I have the different shops that you can buy out from the guild store, the pirate store, the chaos store, and the PVP store, which isn't in the game yet, but you know, I can hope, right? And then all of the different uh, abyss dungeons that you can do, you can basically run all of these and all of your characters, but you can only get gold from the first six characters to earn gold from an abyssal. So if you wanna keep track of any of these, you sure can. Uh, also at the bottom, I have a tracker that keeps track of daily quests that I wanna complete on one of my characters. These help with reputations. I might make an entire separate video about what the right quests are to do for like long term and kind of for short term for different types of characters but things like uh, doing two key island for example i want to make sure that i'm doing that every single day because that's going to give me a giant's heart after like 30 days of doing it i'm like two weeks ago uh yeah <laughs> and uh yeah so this is the tool this is what it looks like once you have it set up so let's go through getting it set up so when you first go to this website it's going to look kind of like this the link for this is in the bottom uh, this is the preferences page and so to get here you need to click on the cog wheel you notice that basically everything is in korean and when i first saw this i was like dude i don't even know how to use this this is not good but they actually have a language and server selection so you're going to click on the preferences here or you'll already be on this page and you click english and then pick whatever server you're on i'm on na east you pick the server you're on and then from this point all we have to do is go to the backup, which is the cloud image here at the top. We click that and then we click paste. Paste is going to ask for a code here and you're gonna get this by clicking the other link in the description, which is this giant wall of text here, in Google Doc. I was trying to do paste bin, it wasn't working for some reason. So this is kind of what we gotta do. So just click on there, press Control A and then Control C to copy and then go back to the other tab and paste in and click yes. This will warn you that there is no uh, like undoing this. If you already have your own thing set up on this website, you might wanna back it up before doing that, but just click yes from here. And then you can go and see that the dailies and stuff are already set up. Now I've set this up to only be with one character because you're going to have to go through and add your own characters for that manually. And I'll show you how to do that now. So for expedition, basically you go here, this button here, and you click character, and you can start adding characters. So you might have like a uh, subscribe as a character, uh, and that might be uh, a holy knight. Now the classes are all gonna be the wrong names. They're not actually the uh, English version, but you can put different names in there. So you might have uh, another class like like or comment. And uh, yeah, so you have that type of stuff and you have your different characters. You go back to your to-do list, clicking this button up here. And at the top here, you can just click add a column. And then you can click the character that you want to add to the column. So you can see now that we have the different setup here with columns. We now have a subscribe and like on the dailies here. Now you, you know, you can change the name from Dodd the Crown if you want to whatever your character is. You can also delete this character by right clicking on there and just going to the trash bin uh, if you don't like the video you don't have to like it either <laughs> and that's pretty much it if you don't like the two panel setup here i don't personally like that i just click that button and it makes it bigger and you can flip between the two tabs as well if you need to add uh, your own stuff 
basically all you have to do is click the plus and you can add a new row. Like maybe there's things that I forgot to put on here that you want to add. You can add icons by clicking this little flag. There's a whole lot of things to do and I'm not going to go through the entire in-depth tutorial how to do that because this probably take about 30 or 40 minutes, but I wanted to give you guys some quick and easy tips. Also, if you click this button here, it manually resets everything. So if you made a mistake or you just checked off a whole bunch of stuff that you don't want to check, uh, you can just reset all the things. And you can see that I've set this up so that a lot of these are set up to be uh, that particular way. But oh, look, I made a mistake here. So this is actually not indef indefinite. I want it to reset every week. And so I can just reset that to be correct there. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now, one quick twip before you go. Uh, I've seen a lot of people missing these quests in Tier 2 and Tier 3. In Tier 2, in Phaeton, there is a series of daily quests that you get that eventually give you a skill point. You definitely just want to keep going back to the capital in Phaeton and doing the quest there. It should offer you a new one every single day until you get a skill point. And then in Punika, there is actually a hidden quest that starts right here. Oops, it disappeared. Right here. That starts a quest chain that basically gives you a skill point as well. You get a new quest every single day and eventually you won't get a quest, but you won't have your skill point yet. And that's because there's another hidden quest object that's like around here somewhere that you can find. It's like shiny little shimmery thing that you go up to and interact with. And it's a pretty cool little story that you like help to like star cross lovers kind of like help meet each other after like dozens of years. And yeah, you get a nice skill point from that as well. And so there's two quests that you definitely want to keep your eyes out for. I have a bunch of other videos coming guys soon. Thanks for all the love and support. It really has been overwhelming uh, how much people are looking and you know, talking about Lost Ark. And I'm so glad you guys are having so much fun because I am having a blast. Well, I got to get back to it and uh, we'll see you guys in Punika.